Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Robbie H. You know, I have to admit, it's good to see that every so often, more people are subscribing to this channel. I thank those of you who have, and hope you encourage others who are interested in the Bible to do so as well. You provide a real encouragement, and a reason for me to keep producing the show. However, let us see if we can get 25 subscribers by the time I finish reading the book of Exodus on the 6th of October 2013. I really think that would be a stunning accomplishment, and a real sign that the Bible is as relevant today as it has ever been. Don't forget to check out the website at www.dailyvisualbible.co.uk, especially the new links page, which will have links to some very important sites to help to show that the Word of God is needed in these modern times. Now let's do the right thing, and open God's Word with prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your Word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a best understanding of you. Amen. Exodus chapter 17 All the congregation of the children of Israel travelled from the wilderness of sin, by their journeys according to Yahweh's commandment, and encamped in Rephidim. But there was no water for the people to drink. Therefore the people called with Moses and said, Give us water to drink. Moses said to them, Why do you quarrel with me? Why do you test Yahweh? The people were thirsty for water there. And the people murmured against Moses and said, Why have you brought us up out of Egypt to kill us? Our children and our livestock were first. Moses cried to Yahweh saying, What shall I do with these people? They are most ready to stone me. Yahweh said to Moses, Walk on before the people, and take the elders of Israel with you, and take the rod in your hand with which you struck the Nile, and go, watch, I will stand before you there, on the rock in Horeb, you shall strike the rock, and water will come out of it, that the people may drink. Moses did so, and decided the elders of Israel. He called the name of the place, Mashah and Meribah, because the children of Israel quarreled, because they tested Yahweh, saying, Is Yahweh among us or not? The Amalek came, and fought with Israel, and referred them. Moses said to Joshua, Choose men for us, and go out. Fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill, with God's rod in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses had told him, and fought with Amalek. Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to the top of the hill. When Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed. When he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed, but Moses' hands were heavy. And they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it. Aaron and Hur held up his hands, the one on the one side and the other on the other side. His hands were steady until sunset. Joshua defeated Amalek and his people with the edge of the sword. He always said to Moses, Write this for a memorial in the book, and rehearse it in the ears of Joshua, that I will utterly blot out the memory of Amalek from under the sky. Moses built an altar, and called its name Yahweh our banner. He said, Yah has sworn, Yahweh will have war with Amalek from generation to generation. 